New tonight, new details after a week of several devastating, even deadly accidents at school bus stops. Now we're hearing from local parents who know the pain and devastation firsthand. And they've made it their mission to support the continued need for school bus monitors here. Iowa News News reporter Steve Nielsen joins us now live in studio with their story. That's new at 530. Steve. Well, yeah, Mike and Shannon, Rhode Island had a problem in the late 70s to early 80s. Several children were killed getting on and off school buses. So the state made a change, and we wanted to see how effective it's been. An alarming week. Thursday, several people, including three children, rushed to the hospital in Tampa, Florida, after being hit by a car at a bus stop. Also this week, three children were hit by a truck and killed in Indiana while boarding their school bus. There were also crashes in several other states. It's a simple solution. It's not, it's not rocket science. Newport residents Sophia and Bill Pendergast know what those parents are going through. Their six-year-old daughter was killed getting off her school bus in 1986. After that, state legislators changed the law. They, you know, they just said enough is enough. Um, and voted their conscience. Bus monitors are now required to be with every bus for kindergartners through fifth grade, and the results speak for themselves. Are we a leader? Yes, we are a leader. We've not had a school bus fatality. Nationally, from 2006 to 2015, the National Highway Transportation Safety Administration reports 102 pedestrian children were killed in school transportation crashes. The Rhode Island Department of Education says statewide, Rhode Island has had none since bus monitors were introduced. A spokesperson with RIDE says they're pleased with the law. Bill and Sophia believe every state should have bus monitors. The other states are still killing children and we're not. The Department of Education has started allowing some communities in Rhode Island to bypass having safety monitors. Bill and Sophia disagree with that choice, but a department spokesperson says the community must have additional safety measures in place to be allowed to operate without bus monitors. I'm Steve Nielsen, Eyewitness News.